everybody. I think you can probably guess where Teddy and I are right now. That's right, we're in Disneyland. This is going to be our second day heading into the park. So we look forward to taking you along and seeing what you can do with the baby when you're in Disneyland. So we are staying right over there at the Paradise Pier Hotel. You can kind of just see it between the trees. And I'll just show you. Um, this time we are walking in through the downtown Disney entrance. So we'll go through security here and we'll be right at the far end of downtown Disney. And I'm hoping to be able to actually hop on the monorail to get into the park. So let's see if that works. Date. Just like the railway, there are no stro strollers allowed uh, on the monorail, so we did have to fold up. So just something to keep in mind if you have a ton of stuff under your stroller like I did today. But we made it work and the monorail brought us to Tomorrowland. So let's go see what we want to get up to. Alright, I think we've come up with a bit of a plan. I keep saying we, but really, it's me. Um, so yesterday we were in the park for a rope drop and we got on Peter Pan, It's a Small World, uh, Pinocchio, and one other one I think. It's just 9 o'clock now, so we might jump on a couple of rides. Our big goal today is to meet Minnie and Mickey, so we're going to head back to Town Square after maybe doing a couple of shorter rides and hopefully get a short line to meet Mickey and Minnie. Plaza area just went near the very entrance to Disneyland. We found Pluto and got a little picture video with him. We went to the Mad Hatter and got Teddy her embroidered Mickey ears and I asked a cast member and they said Mickey and Minnie will probably be out sometime around 1225 so I'm just gonna linger in this area and hopefully be able to hop in line and meet them. I do have a mobile order for lunch that's supposed to be 12.30 to 1 o'clock pickup, but honestly, I'd rather see Mickey and Minnie um, than worry too much about my order. I'm not sure what would happen if I was late for it. But anyways, we're gonna hang out in this area for a bit, do a little bit of Main Street, a little bit of the uh, plaza here, and hope to meet those characters, and then get something to eat because I haven't had breakfast yet or lunch, so I'm getting hungry, but there's just so much Disney magic that's almost no time for food.
sweet. Sounds like a good breakfast to me. Oh my gosh, here it is. The actual park bench from the Griffith Park merry-go-round in Los Angeles where Walt Disney first dreamed of Disneyland. for Mickey and we were right at the beginning so we got to meet Mickey um, because of parades and stuff Minnie and Mickey won't be back out until probably around 5 so we might come back and try to get a picture with Minnie I mean we're wearing the gear so we better meet them out Way through the day even though there's actually only two lightning lanes that I can use um, with Teddy that you could we can ride Haunted Mansion and we can ride It's a Small World which both have lightning lanes but it's only $20 a day and I've been using PhotoPass pictures today to meet like to meet Mickey um, and by the castle and it's actually more expensive just to book just to buy your pictures from the day than it is to book Genie Plus so I paid the $20 and then we did use the lightning lane for Haunted Mansion. Uh, we just finished that and then I booked one for It's a Small World too because it's one of the rides that Teddy has actually seemed to enjoy. Um, it's not a dark ride so that is helpful and it's cute with all the music. It's a song I've been singing to her since she was a newborn so I'm going to pretend that she recognizes it. And yeah, it is getting pretty hot. Uh, I think we're just going to hang around in the park for about another hour and then go back to the plaza around 5 o'clock and hope to see Minnie. And then we might do a quick hop over to Disney California Adventure and then we're going to head back to the hotel for a couple of hours and maybe go to one of the nighttime shows um, over at DCA later on tonight. But so far we've been in the park all day and uh, like I said it's warm. Um, Teddy's doing good, but I think it would be nice to just be in the hotel for a little while. So we will keep on with our day. Sneaking another little nap in here as we wait to see if Minnie comes out. Uh, there are no set times, just vague uh, mentions from cast members, but you can see there's so many people crowded in the corner there. We 
we just got to meet Minnie. I don't know why I'm feeling emotional. I think everyone's just really sweet about the baby and just doing the things we wanted to do. I know I'm not getting as much done as I thought I would in a day, but I'm just so happy to be here and yeah, just getting to do the things that I've been dreaming of doing for a long time. So check Minnie off. just about to leave the park to go over to Disney's California Adventure and I remembered that I had put a mobile order in earlier today to pick up supper here in Adventureland at the Bengal Barbecue. So I've got a vegetable skewer and a beef skewer coming up. Got the goods. It is crazy. I'm going to try and find a different spot to sit and eat. beef skewer had some kick to it. Good thing I had that tiger tail bread stick, otherwise I wouldn't really have needed it, but I think it acted to neutralize a little bit. So I'm heading over to DCA, hoping to find some water and just take a walk through on the way back to the resort. this time I got ice cream and took pictures and I realized that I made a bit of a mistake I thought that I got the virtual queue today at noon for World of Color one of the entertainment shows here at DCA I didn't really know which one I got it for and then when I got over here I asked someone and they said it was the 10 15 show not the 9 p.m. show so I figured I could stretch her bedtime for the 9 o'clock show I don't think I want to for the 10:15 show. So that's kind of why I left Disneyland and came over here and why we were going back to the hotel to take a break. So now without that plan, I'm not really sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. But I do at this point now that we've just gone for hard for so long, I think we'll still head back to the hotel and I'm not sure if we'll come back out or not. But that's our plan for now. So I'm going to try and find the exit from DCA that you can go through the Grand Californian and we will see you later. Along with the renovations of Paradise Pier Hotel uh, turning over to Pixar Pier Hotel which will be so exciting. Um, they're also making an uh, entranceway from the Paradise Pier Hotel that will go right into DCA. Lots of exciting things to come. Um, not the most ideal time, I guess, to be staying at Paradise Pier when there's no pool and really no other benefits of being in a Disney resort like there's the extra magic hour, but that's okay. It's still within that Disney bubble. It's still nice and close and it's just great to experience it. You can hear people literally screaming from the Incredicoaster from our hotel. Right this way. Hey there, coming at you from bath time. Just to say we are winding up our night here. We decided just, or I decided just to stick around the hotel. Teddy was really enjoying uh, having some time just on the floor. I figured if we had an early night tonight, then we would be ready for an early morning tomorrow when we are off to um, Disney's California Adventure Park first thing in the morning. So we're going to end this video here and hopefully you will catch our next video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.